To apply the Defender XDR policies, I will launch the Defender XDR portal by going to security.microsoft.com. The security.microsoft.com is the Defender XDR portal, which is a unified portal for uh, the configuration of the different Defender services, be it Defender for Endpoint, Defender for Identity or Defender for uh, Office 365. Here you see Defender for Identity is available. Defender for Cloud Apps can also be managed. This is the unified portal. In our case, for implementing this scenario, we need the Exchange Online Protection Policies to apply. So we'll go to the Email and Collaboration Services where under that we have Policies and Rules. We have different types of uh, policies and rules here like threat policies alert policies and activity alerts we will configure threat policies here in the threat policies we have templated policies for preset security policies that we can apply and then we have configuration analyzer templates we have policies that we can explicitly define for anti phishing spam or anti malware or safe attachment and safe link or for the rules that we can configure for tenant, allow or block list for whitelisting, email authentication, advanced delivery, enhanced filtering, quarantine policies. These are the different settings that we can do. In our scenarios, we will be implementing the preset configuration policies for security. We have built-in protection that can be managed from here and we can add any exclusion to the built-in protection policies. Whereas we have two other options, one is a standard protection and second is a strict protection. We will be putting the standard protection on our domain on the tenant. So we'll click on the manage and uh, we'll define the recipient for this exchange online protection preset configuration policy. Where will this be applicable? Either I can apply it to all or none or I can exclude some recipients from here. And there is another option that is a specific recipient. In a specific recipient, I can choose the users or the groups or the domain. In my case here, I will be using a domain on which I will apply those preset configuration policies for Exchange Online Protection. I will add that domain over here. This is our available domain on this tenant in this training environment that I will be putting in case in your organization, you will be putting it your domain for an instance contoso.com. So this is the domain on which I want to apply the Exchange Online Protection Standard Preset Policies. Now apply Defender Office 365. Well, this is the domain. The Defender XDR for uh, Defender for Office 365 Protection Policies that I want to apply, I can add them to separate users or groups or I can go with previously selected recipient as well. That is an option available. So whatever I selected in Exchange Online Protection, the Defender for Office 365 Protection will also be implemented to that con uh, to that recipient. So this can be uh, previously selected recipients. In my case, I will be using the same recipient that was my domain. Then I will click Next after selecting the previously selected recipient here. And in the impersonation protection, I will ignore this impersonation protection. And uh, in case if it is required, then you can do the configuration for impersonation protection as well. And this is the exchange online protection preset policy configuration that I will confirm. And this is how we have applied the standard protection. Next, we will see how we apply the strict protection and for the defined recipients. As per the scenario, this strict protection need to be applied to a group, security group instead of a domain. So in the recipient, I will be choosing this group that is the leadership group, leadership at my domain name and we'll click next. Here I can apply the uh, settings, the Defender for Office 365 protection to previously selected recipient. Then this is the impersonation protection Then I can configure and uh, this is for leadership finally i confirm that i want to apply the this strict protection to the leadership group i will click on done 
This is how we can apply the preset conf security configuration policies on the domains or security groups or the users from the Defender XDR portal. If uh, you want to apply the settings as custom settings, then uh, you have the option to configure it again from the policies and rules and then you can explicitly define them from the uh, you know uh, policies and rules under the mail and collaboration under threat policies here you have the option of uh, uh, configuration analyzers or preset security policies we have seen them already but for an instance i want explicitly the anti-phishing policies defined so right now it's showing that there are some strict or standard preset security policies that are turned on but yes if you want you can create your own anti-phishing policies as per your requirement so these policies can explicitly be defined over here as per the scenario it was about the preset policies to be configured that we have seen and it was through the preset configuration policies the standard and the strict the standard applied on the domain and the strict applied on a security group